Morning, happy November 1st and happy Sunday. I have just finished cleaning up the house, the majority I should say. Um, I put out my little fall decor that I made. I made those little mason jars that look like candy corns. I have one over there. And I left the candy out on the table, but I, you know, put everything back. And that's all of the beer left over from last night. And it's really wet because I emptied the cooler in the corner. Put all my plants back. And I decided that I'm leaving this out year round because I love it. So that's staying. So yeah, I'm actually heading out right now to go to Michael's and to Target. Because Michael's is having 80% off all of their stuff right now uh, because of how Halloween's over. And Target is also um, doing some sort of sale with their stuff. I don't need any decor from Target, but they do have this tablecloth that I'm hoping is marked 50% off. And I want it for my craft fairs because it's like a nice tablecloth that you can use you know, every single time and just pack it up. And I've been using tablecloths that I buy from the dollar store, so I'd really rather have a nice tablecloth that I just use every time. So I'm gonna go see if they have that. Plus I need to pick up some Q-tips and some pens and just random things for the house that I didn't realize that I needed until last night. So I'm heading out now to do that. And you guys are coming with me. They were troopers. They made it through. The Millie pumpkin was just far gone, but they made it through. They found this really cool mask, look at this. I think it's so cool. It's like got like a hand handle and he's like holding it. I kind of am digging this a lot. I might get it. I'm thinking about it. So I'm leaving Michael's. I had a very successful shopping day at Michael's. I got everything that I pretty much came for for 80% off. I didn't really buy any Halloween stuff because I don't really need it. I packed up all of my Halloween things this morning and I have two full boxes. So what I did get is Thanksgiving stuff because for some reason they looped in Thanksgiving and Halloween together. So all of the Thanksgiving fall decor plus Halloween is 80% off. So I got some really cool stuff that actually I will keep out year round. It's not even fall decor. It looks awesome. So I'm very excited and I bought my first Christmas thing for the year. I'll show you guys when I get home. I'm excited. They were so cute and they were on sale and I love them. So remember when I said that I didn't need any more Halloween decorations? They were really discounted at Target. <laughs> I'll show you when I get home. I'm about to eat breakfast, even though it's like 12.40 in the afternoon, but I'm having this like healthy breakfast sandwich and then my Starbucks that I picked up while I was out. And I'm gonna show you guys everything I got in a second. However, I'm gonna eat first and I'm gonna edit while I'm eating because I want to get my video from Friday up and the Halloween video up. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so let's take a look at all the stuff that I got because I just finished editing my Halloween video. What I did is I put October 30th and 31st in the same video because on October 30th, as you guys will come to find out, I fell asleep. I got really sick when I got home from work and I literally passed out and did not wake up for the rest of the night. So I'm putting both of those in the same. So let's look at the stuff that I just got because I have to pack it away into my Halloween boxes for next year. So first things first, I got this really cool sign. It says spooky. This was regularly $5, but I got it for $2.50 because it was 50% off at Target. So that's the first thing that I got. And I actually had been eyeballing that like all season and I really wanted it. But I was like, it's $5, I bet you it's gonna go on sale. And it did, $2.50. Oh, exciting, I got Q-tips. Those go in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so something else that I'm very excited about because I saw this the other day and I really wanted it. But I wanted to wait to see if it would go on clearance and it did. So it went on clearance, this was regularly there's no price, but I think it was $20, and now it was $8.48, and what it is is it's a pillar, not pillar, it's the taper candle holders. So I bought some taper candles, and I love that it has the, the spill bay for the wax as it melts, and I'm so excited to use it. I've, I just think it's really, really cool. I've been wanting one of those taper candle holders for a while, so that's actually going to be used year-round. I also got two of these candles. I saw these... Um, I don't know, maybe a month ago, and I loved the way that the glass looks, how it's like an ombre effect and it looks frosted. This candle smells so good. The scent is Autumn Sky, and it definitely smells like Guy's Cologne. <laughs> and it went on clearance regularly $19, and it went on clearance for about 10 bucks. So I got two of those because I just love the way that they smell, and I know they'll last me a while. By the way, this was actually $17.99, so I went on sale for eight, so I didn't realize they put the prices on the clearance things. Okay, so also I got this Beware Garland. 
It was regularly four bucks, I got it for two, so I'll use that for next year. I also got this Trick or Treat Garland. This was four dollars, I got it for two. And these are things that literally all I have been eyeballing, like all Halloween season. I saw them at Target, I really, really wanted them, but I had a feeling that they would go on sale and I could use them next year. So these I will actually be using for my craft fairs. I picked these up because, okay, so I really, really, really wanted the fabric version, like I told you guys this morning. They had a fabric version of this print, um, and it's pretty much the same print that I did for my party theme. Like, it just has all these really cool little designs all over it. The fabric version was sold out, but they had these tablecloths left over. They're three bucks each, so I got them for $1.50, and I figured I could use these for my craft fairs because they're pretty cool. I wanted the fabric version for my craft fair, but, you know, there's still a chance that I might find it online for cheap. So those are actually going to stay out because I'm going to use those for fairs. Also got these cute little paper fans. This was originally five bucks, got it for two fifty, and I noticed that one of the paper fans is that pattern that I love. So I got these for next year for decor. And let's see, I think this is the last thing that I got at Target, and it was this wreath that reminds me of Maleficent. I think it's the coolest wreath. I've been eyeing it since the beginning of the season, but it was $20. I got it for 50% off, so it was 10 bucks. That will be going in the box, and I'm gonna use that next year. I think it's so, so, so cool. Okay, moving on to Michael's. So Michael's was having a huge sale on not only Halloween stuff, but their fall stuff. So I think everything I got was fall related. So these candles were originally $10 a piece. I got them for $2 because it was 80% off. The scent is supposed to be coastal woods. Kind of smells like a beachy scent, um, which is kind of weird for a fall scent, but hey, $2, I'm not complaining. So I actually got a couple of them. And I will say this too, Michael's candles last a really long time. I don't, the brand is Ashland and they really last a long time. They also gave me this for free. They said they were giving these out. They're mason jar lids and straws. And I, I have a mason jar, so I was like, okay, yeah, thanks. Take it for free. These are like the coolest things. So these were also 80% off. This one was regularly $12.99, so I think I got it for, let me see, $2.50 or two, I think this was $2.50, $2.50. So I got that one. So this one was $2.50. This one was $3. And this one was a dollar. Right? A dollar? A dollar fifty. So a dollar fifty, two fifty, three dollars. These are just pillar candle holders that looked really cool. Like I liked the metal and then the concrete look of them. They're gonna go in my bathroom. And then I got the candles to go on them. These candles were regularly eight bucks. They came out to like $1.20. Um, and they smell okay, but I got three of them so that I could put them like that in my bathroom. Aren't they cool? I thought that was so neat. And that's another thing that's gonna go out year round. I just thought it was really, really awesome. So these packs of candles were $1.50 each. So I got these really cool tea lights, jumbo tea lights. Let's see, what else? Look at all this mess over here, you guys. I'm like, whoa. Okay, one last bag. So this is actually the first Christmas item, well, two, but it's a set that I got this year. I don't wanna break them, so I'm gonna be very gentle. Okay, okay. I thought these were so cute. So this guy was on sale 50% off, so I got this, it's one of those like handcrafted ones where they take items that they sell and then they put a price on it because they added like a bow and stuff, but it was still 50% off. A little glittered deer with a really cute bow that they put on him. So I really, really liked the bow. They had a couple of different options like blue and then a different color red. I loved this version, so I got him. And then this one was 40% off from the aisle. He was not tampered with, so he's just as is. He has no ribbon or anything on him. I could add it if I wanted to, but I kind of like him plain, like with the two, just have one with the ribbon, one not. He was $10 on sale. 
So I got those two really cute little deers. Those are my first Christmas things. My theme this year, like I don't really have like a Christmas theme per se, but I want to lean more towards like dark reds and dark greens and do kind of like a flannel feel. I really, really like flannel. Uh, so I'm going to be looking for like a flannel tree skirt and maybe like a, I'll make like a flannel wreath or something. I just really like flannel and that's what I'm going for this year, so. That was the most long-winded haul ever, but you know, here's the cool thing. I got all of this for less than $100. Um, there's a ton of stuff here that I got, so I'm really excited about it, and I'm gonna pack up the Halloween things right now and use the fall things and put the candles away. I think I'm set on candles for a while. <laughs> I was so excited to get this shirt in the mail. It's one of the newest designs that I made on my Kaylee Kill spread shirt shop. It's supposed to be a unisex shirt that guys and girls can order and I ordered a medium, um, which now I know don't order a medium again because it's massive. But look, they printed the design crooked. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but like, it should be going straight, like, do I have a ruler? Let me see if I have something to show you what I'm talking about. So, like, if I line this up, do you see how the design starts to go upwards? So it's not actually straight across in the shirt, it's at an angle. It bothers me so much. So I just sent them an email, I'm like, come on guys, you can't, like, do this. Like, if someone orders a shirt of mine, I don't want it to arrive with the image going diagonal up the shirt. Like, that's not okay. I feel like you can kind of notice it more while I'm wearing it. So like the word starts down here and by the time it ends, it's like halfway up my boob. <laughs> like this is like the bottom side of my boob. This is like the middle of my boob towards the top. Like it, it doesn't, it's not straight. Like, do you see that? Like, ugh. it bothers me so much. Like why? One thing, you had one job. It's crooked. Ugh. I'm literally an idiot. <laughs> I filmed like three videos, three or four videos, and I went through my camera and started deleting videos that I didn't need anymore. And of course, like one of the videos that I deleted was one I just filmed, so I had to refilm it. Also, one of the videos I just filmed had these in the video, and I didn't know what they were, so I looked them up online, and apparently I was sent Mexican jumping beans, which aren't actually jumping beans. There's like larva living in these beans, and that's what makes them jump. I don't know if I want to keep them, it's making me feel weird. Like, watch them. I didn't mean it. I sincerely apologize. And I swear I'm not guilty, you guys. There's larva in these things. And that's why they're jumping. Apparently, if you like, actually hold them in your hand, like the heat from your hand makes them jump more. I don't actually want to put them in my hand. Like, I'm, I'm afraid. I understand that they're inside of like a bean, but like, I'm afraid. So maybe what I'll do, it says that if you put them like in the heat, they jump. They seem to not be doing much now. Jump for me, bean. Well, I guess they don't want to jump now, but anyway, they're so creepy. I don't know if I want to like keep them because I don't want them to like hatch and then I have moths in my house. <laughs> oh, there goes one. He's moving now. What's funny is that I felt like I was crazy because I was sitting on my bed and I heard like a ticking like, and I was like, what is that? And I like looked down and the only thing that could possibly be making that noise was that thing. And so like I picked up and put it on my shelf and I just stared at it and I started seeing it move and I'm like, this is my mind. Like I'm going crazy. I'm not really seeing this move. And then like it actually like really moves and I'm like, oh my god, it's literally moving on its own. They're doing it now. They're they're kind of moving. Look at him. He's really going. I don't know, I'm so creeped out by them, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm creeped out. I'm creeped out that there's like a bug living inside of these. I don't know, it's weird. What do you guys think? Should I keep it? I don't know. It says that they hatch in the spring, so I guess technically there's a couple months before they hatch, but I don't know. I'm like weirded out by it. Mm. Paper candles are so cool! I wanted one of these forever. Look how cool it looks! They're like giant birthday candles, and they start looking so cool when they melt. I'm obsessed. So I have that candle going, I have these candles going, I have that candle going. I like the ambience that's occurring in my house right now. All while I watch The Office. Okay. I think I'll always love this scene because Dwight shows that he really does care about Pam. 
Like, he says later that he considers Pam like a best friend. <laughs> but I love that Dwight really does care about Pam. It's so cute. Like, he really loves her as a friend. <laughs> See, this is what I love about these candles. They start melting and it gets all cool looking. Except for that one tall one does not want to melt. Like, all of its brothers are melting correctly and he's like, nope, I'm gonna stand out and do my own thing. So I've literally been sitting here, um, I think the episodes are anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour, so I've sat here and watched. I'm on the fifth episode of Once Upon a Time. I can't stop watching it. What's funny about the situation is that I didn't see the season with Frozen and I didn't see the season with um, the Wicked Witch. So <laughs> I'm really behind, but it's so good. This episode is very close to being over and as soon as it's done, all I'm gonna do is take a shower and go to sleep because it's very late. Technically we're behind an hour, so I'm tired because it should be an hour later than it is. So thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I feel like this was a successful vlogging day. I'll see you guys tomorrow on Monday. Peace out, Trouts.